What is your overall prediction for the college football playoff, both Max and Chat? Max and Chat. Chat, let me know what you think of this. Uh, I guess I was going to say no particular order, but I'll, uh, I'll order them up. I'll go number one will be Clemson. College football playoff. Uh, I feel like that's 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 a shoe in ACC is still weak. I know Notre Dame is is in there. They'll mix it up. They're going to make some moves. But at the end of the day, there is too much coming back on Clemson's roster, especially offensively, to combat that. Number two, this will be interesting. I'll go with the Texas Longhorns. I think the Big 12 is very good. Iowa State's great. Oklahoma State is a uh, is a dark horse for a lot of people. Oklahoma, they're going to be legit, but I do think they will take a slight step back. But I feel like we said every year and they're still in there again. But I'm going Texas. Uh, I think Sam Ellinger is legit. He is a, uh, a senior, obviously, played a lot of ball. And Texas was decimated with uh, injuries last year. Their secondary was – it was a joke how injured they were. If they can stay healthy, I can see things coming together for Texas. It's kind of make or break uh, year. If they don't win – uh, they're getting a whole new head coach and everything. So I'll go there, mix it up. And then the two, three and four, I'm going two SEC teams, and Alabama is not one of them. I'm going Florida and Georgia. I think Alabama, you look at like the top, if you look at the projected draft for NFL 2021 right now, Alabama has like seven dudes for the next year's draft, which you would think, hey, of course, they're going to be NFL draft, all that. But I think as a result, they're going to have some guys one foot in, one foot out and potentially could have their eye on the draft and potentially just training for the NFL. That's getting ahead of myself a little bit, but I think there's going to be a lot of distractions for Alabama. I know Saban makes a living, a living off minimizing distractions, but my gut says there's too much going on for Florida and Georgia. Both have great, great quarterbacks, Alabama and Mac Jones. He still has something to prove, but I'm going Clemson, Texas, Florida, Georgia. Wow. That's an interesting top, top four. I want to hear from the chat real quick. I can't see the chat on my screen, so let me know uh, if they're thinking I'm the craziest person alive. The chat is saying Oregon. They've thrown Oregon out. They've thrown UGA. Where's Wait, Georgia? So, uh, with Oregon, I went with just they're not playing this year. So I, I, I eliminated Big Ten and, uh, and Pac-12. But fair, fair. Oregon. But Oregon, I mean – Everyone's going to label me a Pac-12 guy. Oregon, they got they got to return all five offensive linemen. I am uh, I'm I'm not bought in. Their defense is legit, but I'm not bought in for uh, CFP quite yet. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, I think uh, the chat just threw out LSU. I think LSU was interesting. Um, I I think the thing to watch with LSU is we all know pretty much where the ceiling was for LSU before uh, a gentleman with the same name as me, Joey, Joe and who, Burrow. Who looks a lot like me. That's what social media tells me. Hey, look at You combine us, Joey Brown, and uh, <laughs> the, and the look of it and, and replace it with Burrow, we got some. But uh, that's always been what's held LSU back from being elite, 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 that ceiling. Um, I think it's interesting to see Coach O as a head coach without a guy that is as prolific as Joe Burrow, uh, how they are able to uh, to perform. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, their OC left, went to the Panthers as well, passing coordinator. Yeah, their passing coordinator left. The guy uh, still like technically calls plays is uh, is still there, but point taken. Yeah, Joe Brady's gone. That's uh, that's a big loss for LSU. Joe Brady. Joe Brady is the name. Slipped slipped the mind for a second, but uh, but yeah, I think uh, I think yours is pretty spot on. If I'm gonna rattle off a four real quick before the buzzer sounds, eh, it just sounded. Uh, but I'm gonna go Clemson as well. UGA. Uh, I'm I'm keeping Alabama in there. I'm never I'm never ever ever. Yeah, you're probably smarter than me. G gonna bet against uh, Alabama, uh, and then you know what? I'm gonna throw Oklahoma in there. Smart Spencer Rattler. Well, the one like that's interesting to me, yeah, the one that's interesting to me is Notre Dame too. And I should have said that uh, if I'm if I'm buying into the Mike Wilbon Chicago vibes a little bit. Notre Dame's uh, big Chicago roots, just Ian Brook, and then them having the ACC. They have an ACC schedule usually, anyways. But especially with it being no Pac-12, no Big Ten as of now, that cuts down a lot of competition. I, I can see Notre Dame maybe backdoor their, uh, backdoor their way in there.